Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to find out how long I can run a 5000 BTU window air conditioner with a Blue Eddy AC200P. Alright, imagine if you were living in an area that had like rolling blackouts for, I don't know, two, three, four hours a day. Now, in that situation, you really don't need solar because you know the power is going to turn back on. So it would be nice to have something that could power a small AC unit. You know, so if you live like in a studio apartment uh, or if you just want to keep a single bedroom cool, uh, this might be a pretty good option because this Blue Eddy has a 2000 watt inverter so it can easily power this air conditioner and it has 2000 watt hours. So I think this air conditioner probably uses about 500 watts. So, you know, I'm really hoping that I get about four hours uh, out of this unit. So let's go ahead and plug it in and get this test started. First, let's power up the unit just by pressing the power button and we'll need to turn on the AC receptacles. So what we're gonna do is say AC on. It shows that the AC is on, so let's go ahead and plug in our air conditioner. All right, light on the plug is on, so we got power. And then for our air conditioner, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just keep it at five because the temperature in this room is right at 75 degrees and I'd kinda like to just keep it at that. I'm not trying to freeze this room out. I would just like to keep it at this current temperature. So what I'm hoping is that, you know, the compressor will run to keep the room cool, but hopefully it'll shut off every now and again and just run the fan, which will be a lot lower of a wattage. So that way we might get actually more than four hours. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to low cool and I'm going to keep it on five. There we go. It powered right up. Let's see what the AC 200 says. And it says that we're using 311 watts right now. And it's kind of fluctuating around a little bit. But it's nice because the air is already starting to get cool. So we're going to go ahead and leave this. I'm going to come back in a couple hours uh, just to find out if the room is still staying at 75 degrees and to see what the uh, state of charge on the Blue Eddy is. All right, to tell you a little bit about this room, um, it is a 10 foot by 11 foot room and it has eight foot ceilings. It is in my house. So what I've done is I've completely blocked off the air vent that comes into this room. So that way there's no AC coming in. And I will also have a towel under the door to make sure that no, uh, you know, a, a minimal amount of draft will be able to enter this room. So hopefully that kind of makes it so this room is, is pretty much isolated from the rest of the house. Okay, well, I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna go ahead and let it run for two hours. So I'll come back at one o'clock and we'll see where we're at. Okay, well, I just walked into this room and it actually feels pretty good. Uh, it does say that the temperature is 74 degrees. Uh, I believe the AC is currently on. Let's check out the Blue Eddy. Yeah, it's using 430 watts right now and we're still at 76%. This AC is maintaining this room just fine. And again, uh, it's, it's 85, 86 degrees outside. Uh, feels like 93. So I'm happily surprised. I mean, it's not using anywhere near what I thought it would. And this Blue Eddy is not having any problem powering it at all. So instead of four hours, we're probably gonna get you know, we're probably gonna get close to seven, maybe. I don't know, but it's now one o'clock. So I'll come back at three o'clock and see where we're at. All right, it is now four in the afternoon. Check this out. You can see that the temperature in this room is still 73.5 and the Blue Eddy is actually only down to 30% after five hours. And that is because all this air conditioner is doing is maintaining the temperature in this room. It never really needed to lower it from like 85 down to 75. So the compressor in the air conditioner has just been clicking on probably, I don't know, maybe running for 10 minutes, then off for 15 and then running for 10. So uh, after I get done with this small test to see how long it'll last maintaining, I'm gonna go ahead and charge the Blue Eddy back up to 100% 
and we're gonna do this test again, but I'm gonna have it on max cool. So the compressor should be on practically the entire time. And we'll see how long it runs like that. I'll come back, I don't know, I'll, co I'll come back when it's really close to zero and we'll find out the, uh, the total time that it ran with this setting. All right, well, it is now 5.30 in the evening. So this test has been running for six and a half hours. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits. As you can see, the Blue Eddy is at 4%. So it's going to be shutting off here probably in the next 10 minutes or so. And it has maintained this room at 74 to 75 degrees the entire time, which has been nice. All right, so I'm gonna charge this Blue Eddy back up. <clears throat> And I'm gonna set the temperature to max cool. So the compressor should be running pretty much the whole time. And that will at least give you a, a minimum base of what you can expect from this Blue Eddy. All right, well, it is now 7.45 the next morning. I've been charging this all the way back up to 100%. So let's go ahead and unplug it. And now, like I said, we are gonna go ahead and just crank this AC up all the way. Um, you can see that in the room it is actually 76.1 degrees and that is because it is so early and outside it is 75 degrees. So this room is pretty much the exact same temperature as outside. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn on the AC on the unit and we are going to set this to, uh, we're just going to set it to low cool, but we are going to crank it to max cool on the temperature. So that way the compressor will be running um, at max the entire time, hopefully. So I'll come back in a couple hours and see where our uh, state of charge is on our Blue Eddy. All right, well, it is almost been two hours since we started this test and uh, let's look at the percentage of the Blue Eddy. You can see that the Blue Eddy uh, state of charge is now at 56 percent and the temperature of this room is down to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So I don't think this air conditioner has really shut off the compressor at all and it also looks like that we might possibly be getting right around four hours of use from this Blue Eddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back in uh, two more hours and we'll see what we have. All right, everyone. Well, the time is now uh, 11.56, so pretty much noon. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this because our Blue Eddy is at 5%. So it definitely has less than 10 minutes left on its life. Um, the temperature in the room is a nice, 63 and a half degrees. So uh, this room is pretty chilly, but this test really proves that you could run a 5,000 uh, BTU air conditioner with the Blue Eddy AC200P for right around four hours. I would say probably four hours and 15 minutes was the max that we were gonna get. But that's if it's running on max cool. Now, if you're just running it and you're trying to maintain a temperature, uh, odds are you can maybe select it down further to like maybe five, at least in this room, which is an 11 foot by 10 foot room, and it's well insulated. Uh, but I was able to maintain this room for over seven hours. So those are just some numbers to keep in mind if you have a Blue Eddy and, uh, and you're looking to maybe get an AC for a small room because you have, because you have power outages. So, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about how I did this test, please leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to the descriptions of the AC and the Blue Eddy if you wanna look further into them. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.